what's the energy been like for you? Oh man, it's been high energy every practice. You know, Coach E is uh, bringing a different, you know, practice, um, you know, format to us. And uh, yeah, a lot of guys got to get used to how uh, fast tempo we're moving around the field. You know, getting things done. Coach uh, Coach E's pretty big on being efficient and effective with the time we have. Um, you know, we don't get much out here, so when we do, have, when we're out here, you know, we want to be efficient and get things done. But overall, I mean, the energy level's been good. Defense has been. Uh, you know, working, offense has been working. Everyone's just trying to dial in the playbook. You know, that's kind of what the spring's for. Um, you know, just really trying to get to know the offense and uh, see what we're good at. When the, after the first practice, Tony Elliott said the defense kind of won the day. Do you feel like the offense kind of has improved as these practices gone on and got more energy and focus? I mean, yeah, I mean, we've, we've improved on little things. You know, there's kind of a roller coaster right now. I feel like you know, we're going to have good days and bad days. That's kind of where we're at. Um, but, uh, you know, Eventually, we're going to have to put together a lot of good days. You know, this is our fifth practice. We got 10 more. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to improve on, and uh, um, I'm just looking forward to you know just seeing a consistent, uh, consistent offense out here. Brett Ennis, Mike from Richmond. Uh, Coach Kitching said that one of the ways he was getting to know you early on was you guys went out and had a meal at Burton's. Um, yeah. I'm curious if you remember that. <laughs> oh no, I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> What, uh, what kind of stuff are you talking about? How do you kind of begin to build that relationship? I mean, just a, any relationship, all you do is just talk. You know, you just get to know them. You know, you ask the basic, you know, there's a lot of basic questions you can ask just to get to know someone. And then we started diving into a bunch of football things. You know, what we did, what I did last year, you know, kind of what he has in mind for us. Um, but no, now that we've been in spring ball, like that was a great first start. And I'm up there every day with the coaches. And so our relationship has, you know, for the short amount of time they've been here, our relationship with everyone, my relationship with everyone has been easy. Um, yeah, it's kind of feel like they've been here for a long time now. So uh, it's it's been great. Um, yeah, you couldn't I couldn't have asked for uh, just a better relationship with all of our coaches now. Did you do anything similar, I'm guessing, with Coach Lamb when he got there? Did you guys go out and eat? Or oh, yeah, we went out. <clears throat> yeah, we went out to eat again. Uh, we had Coach Kitchens with us, brought all the quarterbacks out. So, um, yeah, we just get to sit down and get to know him. Uh, and then, you know, like last Saturday, Co or Coach Lamb's wife and his her little their little kid, um, their little baby boy, uh, came. So we got to meet all their family. Um, we're starting to meet everyone's family as they've kind of transitioned from where they are to getting into Charlottesville now. Um, so that's been nice, um, you know. And now we have uh, open practices here so family can come out. And, you know, after practice, you get to meet everyone that you haven't got to meet yet. For, for you, I mean, you've been a star for two years, obviously. You've done a lot of things already in Virginia. Does it feel like you're starting over, but maybe not from but starting new? Or are you trying to pick up where you left off? Like, what's the mindset? Um, I want to say, I mean, it is starting new. Um, I just think we can uh, consistently throw and catch the ball no matter the route we're running. There's obviously, you know, the the learning aspect of what the route is, you know, the timing of it. But I think something that we can keep consistent is just throwing and catching. And no matter what happens, we throw and catch, and that's just simply what we do. Um, we can work on the timing. We can work on all the other stuff with just different route concepts and how, we're, uh, how we want to run them. But... Uh, just keeping the game simple and just continuing what we did last year with just throwing and catching the ball at a high, high level. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Brandon. Pratt, from CBS 19. Coach Slam is he's a younger guy. He wasn't in, it wasn't too long ago that he was in college. So what was it like kind of you know, building that relationship with him? And then also, you know, how, how is he kind of approaching, you know, you as an you know, established veteran quarterback? How is he kind of approaching you in practice? Oh, yeah, the relationship was easy. Like you said, he's super young. We kind of, um, we just we just clicked right away, honestly. I mean, there really was no, I don't know how to describe it. It was just like a teammate of mine, you know? And that's kind of how we are with our relationship and just like as me being a quarterback and being an older quarterback. It's just it's just a relationship. And, you know, his job is to coach me, and uh, he knows a little bit more, he knows more football than I do. So, you know, he's been there, done that, and it's coached uh, longer than I have or if I ever coach. But, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, no, he just, he's there to, uh, it's more of a partnership. I mean, that's the best word I can kind of uh, use is a partnership. You know, he's there to help me. I'm there to ask questions. I'm there with him to learn. Um, and it's, it's, been, it's been great. I mean, it's been fun. Um, I'm just looking forward to, the, you, know, the, you know, the little bit of time left I have with him. And then 
you're, you have kind of a smaller quarterback room this spring because Jay's, you know, across the street playing baseball half of the time as well. Yeah. Are you able to kind of help keep him up to date just kind of with what's going on or are you working with him at all? So I have it. I mean, his schedule is insane with baseball. You just – there could be weekly and then they could be gone for the weekend just depending on how it goes. I'm still trying to learn. I mean, I'm still learning and um, getting everything down pat. Um, but – He's here, here, and there. I mean, he, when he can get here in the morning, he'll be here. And so that's nice, you know, just him being around us again, um, even though he's with, you know, the baseball team, just having him back is a, is a nice thing to see. Um, but, yeah, overall, I mean, I'm not working with him just because of his schedule and my schedule and all that stuff. Is it good that you can kind of get, you know, learn everything now and then maybe in the fall when he's, you know, back to, you know, full-time football that you can kind of get him up to speed? Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, teaching it to someone is probably one of the best ways to learn something, I feel like. And that makes me, you know, overthink and rethink what I'm actually trying to tell him and make sure it's right. So, honestly, that'd be a, that's probably something I'll definitely do, just getting in with him. It keeps me, you know, firing on all cylinders, and it allows me to gain more knowledge and things, and it allows Jay to, uh, you know, hopefully catch up pretty quickly with him being gone this spring. And sorry, one last quick point. Uh, you got a lot of receivers back, but what have you made of Malachi Fields and his progress, you know, coming into the spring after his freshman season? Oh yeah, Malachi. We knew he was going to be a big, uh, big asset for us uh, this coming season. Uh, you know, with all the weapons we had last year, you know, he got some, he got some good time. But uh, this this year, he's going to have to play a bigger role in our offense, and I think he's developed so so far really well. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see as we you know we've got out we've transitioned out of that just kind of learning phase, you know into our like let's actually play some ball without thinking it that much in the fall in fall camp. So that's what I really want to see uh, a lot of improvement and just see how he's really balling out in the field during that time. Right now there's just a lot of learning, which you know you just never know how a player is gonna how fast they're gonna learn it and then uh, how they're gonna perform it once they've got it down pat. But yeah, Malachi's been a yeah, he's been a great target for me already in the spring ball. Hey, Brennan, uh, Greg McDavid for Daily Progress. I'm, I'm just wondering, now that you've been in the offense for five practices, you've seen it, have, have experienced it on the field, what have you learned about it that, that you didn't know going in, and, and what do you like about it uh, now, now that you've experienced it a little bit on the field? Well, uh, what I learned about it, I mean, <laughs> I'm learning new stuff every day. Uh, I feel like a lot of my learning is uh, more individual, like, we were in the gun a lot, and so I'm learning a lot of stuff. I'm learning under center things, under you know in gun stuff, um, just different individual things that I feel like my skills like that to add to my skill set. Um, that I think that's what I learned the most offensively. I've always say this. I think football is football. There's only so many patterns you can run. Um, it's just you know the different how you, however you want to say it to the players. So I mean I, that's that. Um, what was the second question? I'm sorry. What was that? What do you like about it? Oh, uh, what I like about it, I think it's just so diverse. I think it gives us more of ability to, you know, take our shots, you know, take what the defense gives us. Uh, I have the ability to um, really control and manage the game and Coach Kitchens, and I think that's another thing we developed, which is coaching-wise, is me and Coach Kitchens, is just being around each other, kind of getting to know the offense, what he's thinking. Um, I think that's really developed uh, pretty quickly and pretty well over the five practices we've had and just the time that I've been around him learning the offense. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's just a fun, unique offense, and I think just it allows you to practice a lot of unique, like just skill sets that you really need to have. Do you, do you as a quarterback, do you want to have that that ability to make things at the line of scrimmage and have the ability uh, to, to do some some things with, with the games in your hands? Uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, developing that aspect of my game is part is something that I'm actually doing. Like, you know, a skill set that I have to you know try to get better at. Um, as of right now. You know, we're taking it slow, so I haven't we haven't really gotten to a lot of the you know checks and stuff, checking runs, checking, you know, out of things. So I think that'll kind of develop as we get back in the summer and just sitting down with him, kind of talking his ideas in the fall for fall camp, and uh, you know it's just game planning too. You know, we go through a week, we game plan for a team. I got my certain checks, certain looks that they want to do, and uh, that's something that I'll be happy to do. Um, and so I just think learning it and getting used to it is a good thing. Uh, hey, Brandon and Jerry, Radcliffe.com. How are you doing? Uh, you had such a great year last year statistically. Is there anything that you wanted to do to personally grow your game to improve on this spring? Uh, just managing a new offense. I mean, just the, this is the one thing I think 
I think I forget if I've said this in public or to the media before, but uh, just being uncomfortable as a fifth year, I think that's something just is going to allow me to grow and improve in anything. I'm uncomfortable already with our new offense. Uh, it allows me, it makes me, you know, be up on the in the film room all the time working, and I'm more than happy to do that. But it's just like, I think just that aspect of being uncomfortable at such a later later uh, time in my career here, uh, it's just only going to make me better in the long run. And uh, yeah, I really couldn't ask for much more. I kind of I'm just trying to embrace it and uh, continue to grow and try to make my, you know, make our offense better. And. Uh... What's it like having Lavelle back as a target uh, after having missed last season? No, it's been great. Uh, Lavelle's working back into all the, all the stuff. You know, you know, he's 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 worked really hard to get back on the field, and now he's here. And uh, we, now we're just trying to build that chemistry back up, like I did my, uh, you know, first year starting with him. Um, no, it's good. I don't think we're we're not behind. We're not ahead. I think we're just right on track, and I think we'll continue to be right on track. And I'm looking forward to him just. You know, just being out there and being a presence on our field. All right. Anything else for Brennan before he uh, runs off to class here? Yeah, one quick one, Brennan, for me. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, you had a real good relationship with Coach Beck. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious when a position coach changes. Like, I'm sure Coach Lamb has different thoughts and ways of doing things. Um, what's the process of what? Are you learning new stuff that like adds to your game? You have to adjust to him. Does he adjust to you? Um, how does that work? I mean, I, again, I think uh, I think just the offense. You know, every coach that came in has learned the offense that Coach Kitchens and Coach uh, Elliott kind of wants to run. So they're all putting that together. We're all learning it at the same time, um, and we just kind of are. We just, you know, we just go back and forth to each other. I think that's just kind of how it is. Um, yeah, I just think the biggest, you know, biggest thing is that we're just all learning the offense. That really kind of makes it so much easier to be around each other and uh, um, just develop with each other as a relationship. Are they similar guys? They Are they similar? Guys? Oh man. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say so. I mean, there, there's similar. There's similarities. There's differences. Um. I don't, I don't, I can't really like pinpoint anything, uh, but yeah, no, that I've had, I've had a great time already with Coach Slam, and I've only been with him for shoot four, three, four months, and you know, I had a great time. I wouldn't be who I was today without Coach Beck and you know that staff. So, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't change my time for the, or wouldn't change my time at all, my my process at all. And like I said, I think just getting that change and being around uh, new people, I think it's just, it only makes me better and being able to adapt fast, quickly, um, build relationships quickly. Um, and I think that, I think that that's, that's crucial in this, in football and, you know, the, this business.